if you're camping and there's bears in the area keep your bear spray next to you do not have it in a tent because it's not going to do you any good in a tent Hey YouTubers, this is Cake with Boost and Jeans Riders. Rich right there in the tent. Here's our camping spot and the setup, the full setup. We say we will show it to you guys. Here is the full setup. The only thing we don't have up is the showers. Because this campsite that we're at, it has showers. So it's no need to set up the shower and the toilet. Yes, we have a toilet. Let me see what Rich doing in here. I said he was in the screen room. There it is. There's our kitchen set up. Pots, plates, pots, pots, plates, plates. Who's that? <laughs> you got something you want to say to the people? No, you showing a whole setup, right? Yeah. I heard you talking. You heard me talking? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we can show. How we He's just relaxing room. right now. This is our basically living room. This is our living room, y'all. Yeah. And we only we only set up like this if we know we're gonna be at a place three or more days. Yep. And it, or if we're gonna have some major storm come through, like we're in Florida, there's a lot of major storm came through. Short storms, but it was major. And then we'll put the easy up. And we got our screen room and four walls or three walls. We, don't put this wall up because we want to see everything going out. This is where we chill at. Got our seat that we use our relax, relax. Middle table, which is my bag. Spot where we hang our closet, our closet. Um, what else? I tell you, talking about the rug. About the what? The rug. Oh. See that rug? One of the RV rugs is waterproof. Actually, water could go down, drain, drain through it. And it's easy to clean, easy to sweep off. Every time we dirty it off, we sweep it off. In fact, what we normally do when we come in here, dust our foot off on this fold part, walk in, and before we go, before we go in our room, where we just hang out at our, I guess you could say our bedroom, slippers come off. When we come in here, we have a carpet down here also, which is see, nice on the feet. See how well coordinated that is? Look at that. We have a blue chair. A green chair, green rug, green wire, blue tent. And then as you come in, I don't know what the GoPro is going to pick it up. Come on over here. And we have, turn around this way before we get to the bed. We have poles, two poles here. And we just put Velcro on all the poles. So we have our light switches on a Velcro. We can put it down low, up no matter where we want. So we just got it right here where a regular light switch would be. So if we turn it on, there it is. And then if you look at the top, the ceiling, we have a light here that we use. We have a night light or we pull a full bright light and Velcro on the poles here. And if you come to this pole, same thing. Cake hat is on Velcro. Velcro is our friend. And then we have our remote control for our air conditioner normally on this Velcro. And the air conditioner is normally right here in this port. We don't have it up today because we're in a site with no electric we're still in Florida and it's hot and humid. We wish we had electric. The last couple of sites we stayed in in Florida, we had electric, so we were able to run the air condition and get it down to 62 degrees, which was freezing in here. Matter of fact, cake maybe turn it back up to 70. <laughs> Got two windows. <laughs> you guys seen Patrick before. We have two windows that we can zip down, all the way down. We need a cross breeze coming through. Have our giant king size beds with our boots and jeans. Mattress, not mattress, what's this thing called? Blanket. That's a blanket, baby. Also, we have a blanket. lantern that we normally keep out by the table when we having dinner at night. And this bed is big. Let me show you how big this thing is. This is a king size bed. Look at that. It's so big. Look at that. Rich even need a step stool. No, I don't. He need a I step stool, y'all, to get up on Look there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Stretch Look at that. It is big. <laughs> so this is the Aspen Classic camper, uh, 2005. Obviously, you guys know we named it Patch. See, some of the patch work we had to do on it. Here's where we have our hanging stuff. We just put miscellaneous items in here. Matter of fact, speaking of miscellaneous, let's head back outside. Show them the, the, the whole kitchen setup. I got put my blanket back. Come on out here. 
<laughs> Normally we would have this open if we didn't have that open. But the kitchen setup is nice. We have everything right here labeled kitchen items. Anything we need in the kitchen is in there. If you don't have it hanging up here, it's normally in there. We have more skillets, more cast iron skillets, just a griddle and a grill. And on this side, we just have miscellaneous items that fit no category that's in there. So if we need miscellaneous items, we just pull it out here. My tennis shoes. And normally we would have, I think I heard you mention it, we would have a shower, a double shower. We have a double shower, we shower right here and a changing room where a toilet is in it. We do have a portable toilet. We don't need it here because we have toilets here. We don't use it that often. We use it when we was boondocking. But this is our full setup. We love it. We have a two burner stove and two stoves for backup. Yes, we have two rocket stove for backup and a wooden stove and a stove that you made. So we have yeah. three stove backup stove just in case you run out of fuel. But we're not gonna run out of fuel. We have two of these canisters. I think it's the last one. And then we have the big Big one attached to the trailer, the five, five quart, five, five gallons. No, it's not five gallons. I know that. Three gallons, three no. and a half gallons. No. I went and got it filled. It's three and a half gallons. No, it's not gallons, cake. This is a quart, so it's five of these. Anyway. <laughs> so, what else we have? What's we actually that right have a there? five gallon water bucket in here oh, that we that? only oh the bear spray. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we in Florida. This particular campsite, the reason this is up, turn around. The reason this is up because we've been having a blast. In this particular campsite, we got attacked by a bear. I wouldn't actually call it attack. You saw the bear the day before. And yeah. then every, you know, people already told us the bear was out here. And as we were cooking, or actually preparing to eat, we had just finished grilling chicken, mashed potatoes. About you're just gonna have to eat. put the clip of the video in there. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't did get the bear on the video, but what we have for that night. We don't night, have him yet, about. but I'm sure he's gonna wander around. Oh, and and that thing came. Let me show you. Watch. Matter of fact, who we were talking to? Oh, who had just called us? Ghost Rider was calling us in the middle of this bear attack. I was sitting in this chair. I was sitting in my blue chair. And Kate heard some noise. Heard noise. I <laughs> heard the noise and a tent, the, the easy up was rocking. It rocked. I'm like, what is that? And then all of a sudden, the bear came. Can I didn't that? see the bear. Can y'all see that? The bear came. I didn't see it till it was ripping his down and sticking his head <laughs> in. <laughs> okay, we camping in Florida and they got a black bear running around. We're just grilling chicken, potatoes, and peas. In our camping stove and Kate heard some noise outside and then this bear jumped through <laughs> well actually didn't come all the way through the head it's came real. through and he ripped out he ripped our canopy down you can look at our shirt to show you the big, how big his head was coming through and I was sitting in this chair I flipped backwards went under the thing and came out and told Kate you better come on <laughs> somebody got to tell a story <laughs> <laughs> and the whole campground right now is going crazy. There's a lot of people yelling. Yeah. We have our bear spray. There it is. But we didn't have him when he jumped through the thing. <laughs> anyway, quick update. When you're in bear country, keep bear spray. <laughs> and I... He was coming for dinner. I was sitting in this chair. And the only thing I go is, Whoa! Uh, oh, sh whatever I said. Flip backwards. <laughs> slip under this. Ripped all this up. Slipped under this was out on the other side. Talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Mind you, hold on. Mind you, I did not get injured. This is a concrete thing, dirt, roots. I flipped my back right there and I said, Kate, get out. She done ran into the tent. I like, let the bear have what you're going to have. And I was out on the outside. The bear now, was gone. We have bear spray. Bear spray would not do you any good if you don't have it available. Available, rather. Even though it was a little cub bear and he's still running around all throughout the day that he's a he cute little up, i mean he was just looking for food when he's standing up and kind of coming through your tent it's something it was fun <clears throat> it was scary it was adventurous it was something to talk about and all night throughout the entire camp you hear pot oh, banging, hear noise people screaming get out of here get out of here get out of here clink 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 
that bear terrorized the whole campsite all night. And he's roaming around today also. We yeah, saw him a couple of times around. over here today. He didn't he didn't come directly by our campsite, but we saw him right next to the campsite. So the people this campsite and huh? it has a trap set up. Yes, the thing ain't go, to go that bear ain't go over there yet. So this is only bear. the second day that is that the trap has been up. So this bear been roaming around now for almost a week and a half. Yes. Cause they and, let and us no know. But I'ma tell you what. We come over here again. You see that spot right there? Just that little spot right there. It's gonna be a bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> How it's gonna be a me? bear rug sitting right there. I don't even know what, what, what I'm gonna name the bear, but it's gonna be a bear rug. He keeps coming over yeah, here. Yeah, they have a trap set up. It's just a cage for all the people who animal yeah. love it. They're not gonna hurt the bear. However, that thing, matter of fact, a dog barking now. When he went over there by that dog, the dog, the dog didn't, didn't even bark. bark. He just no. kind of looked at the bear, the bear went around, and the people scared him away. We're in Florida. Okay. We've been camping for basically all our life. All our life since we came to California, actually. And we have seen bears, but we never seen a bear actually in our cancer site and so close to rip off our thing. It was scary. It was it was scary and exciting and adventurous and fun, but we don't want to go through it again. We seen what six bears no. in Shenandoah National Shenandoah Park. National Park. So six bears in the campground, but those bears wasn't even trying to come close to coming to like this bear done. But yeah. so here's here's the here's the lesson learned. If you're camping. And there's bears in the area. Keep your bear spray next to you. <laughs> do not have it in a tent because it's not going to do you any good in a tent. But or get your air horn. Doing, you know, I'm going to sit down relaxing. I'm hot. Get your air horn. Oh, you told them where we were? I just say Florida. What's the name we of the are, campground? We are in Alexander Springs campground. And the springs is walking distance. The beautiful spring. I was in it yesterday. Maybe we'll throw a clip in there also. So it's what, 72 degrees? 72 degrees to me freezing, even though we dove in cold freezing water up in California and all over the world. All right. But it's supposed to be a constant 72 degrees. But just like, just kind of stepping in. We're probably going to go there later on this afternoon or this evening because it's probably about 4 or 5 o'clock right now. And they had an alligator sign posted over there. But there's a lot of people sitting in Swimming in the in the spring. I didn't, I didn't so, see the sign over there. Yeah, they had a sign over there. there. Uh -huh. Well, that, that's all I'm going to say right now. Let me just show y'all the hole from the outside. Oh. Yeah, because this was zipped down like this. That was like that. But look at that. Came look at ah! Well, I guess we got a window now, so it's all good. You can't, it didn't hurt anybody. Okay. Yes. We got it. Yes. This is the guy who caught the bear that been terrorizing everybody the whole week. He sure has. After they ripped the hole in our net. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Finally got him early this morning. Got him. Thank you and thank you. That's the staff, everybody. Yes. We appreciate it. Yes. Okay, guys. Okay, this is the bear that been causing all the havoc. He's eating. He's in the cage right now. He's actually running from us. Are oh, you running now? Yeah, right there. Just heard our little feeling because he ripped out. <laughs> he ripped our tent up. So anyway, that's all I have for right now. I'm Cake with Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And we out. Peace.